This is Matt, and these are the Metal Vinyl releases for March 2024. Starting with March 1st, expect the seventh studio album from British metal singer Bruce Dickinson. This is the Mandrake Project, to be released by BMG. Vinyl variants will be Classic Black, as well as Blue. Also, two music videos are available so far, both Afterglow of Ragnarok and Rain on the Graves. Both are decent and clock in around eight minutes apiece, but Afterglow has more of my attention than the other track. But do check out both at the Bruce Dickinson YouTube channel. So I haven't always been the biggest fan of Bruce's solo material, but there seems to be enough here to at least make me want to check out the upcoming record when it drops. Also on March 1st will be the seventh studio album from Swiss death thrash band Messiah. This is Christus Hypercubus to be released by High Roller Records. Final variants will be Classic Black at 300 copies, Gold at 400 copies, Silver at 300 copies, and Gold Black Galaxy at 200 copies, the less of which a High Roller Records exclusive. All variants will come in a trifold jacket. Also, music video is available for the title track. It's fast and thrashy with those growly death vocals you've come to expect. Also, digging the solo work here. Anyways, watch the video at the Messiah official YouTube channel. So not bad, but I definitely need to hear more before buying. But again, not bad. Moving on to March 8th, we'll get the fourth studio album from American Groove Thrash Band X Hoarder. This is Defectum Omnium, to be released by Nuclear Blast Records. Final variants will be Black White Marbled at 3,200 copies, as well as Grey Swirl at 500 copies. Music videos are also out for Year of the Goat and Forever and Beyond Despair. While the former has more of a familiar ex hoarder sound, Forever and Beyond brings in quite a bit of hardcore influence. So I dig both, but for different reasons. But I think I might like the punkier one just a little bit more. Kind of reminds me a bit of when Overkill gets punky, if that makes sense. Anyways, find both videos at the Nuclear Blast Records YouTube channel. So I got the last album, and I'm wondering if this one's going to musically branch out a little bit more, but maybe in an interesting way, as the available tracks suggest. I suppose we'll find out on release day. Also on March 8th, look out for the 19th studio album from British heavy metal legends Judas Priest. This is Invincible Shield, to be released by Epic Records. Vinyl variants will be Classic Black in an unspecified number of copies, Blue at 1,000 copies, Red in an unspecified number of copies, which is an indie store exclusive, and Purple at 500 copies, which is a Judas Priest European web store exclusive. There's also alternate cover art, depending on what color vinyl you buy. Music videos are currently out for Trial by Fire, Panic Attack, and Crown of Horns. Check those out at the Judas Priest YouTube channel. So as you can imagine, I already pre-ordered this one and the Euro Purple exclusive variant to boot. And if it shows up in time, I should be reviewing it on this or next month's vinyl haul. So definitely check back in for that. And also on March 8th, expect the sixth studio album from American black and thrash band Midnight. This is Hellish Expectations to be released by Metal Blade Records. Vinyl variants for the US will be Sangria and Metallic Marble. As for the EU, you will get 180 gram black, crimson red with black smoke, and orange red splatter. Music video available for the track FOAL, as well as a lyric video for Nuclear Savior. Definitely the midnight you know is speedy riffs and shouty vocals, though the first track is a bit more melodic than usual, but still very midnight. Anyways, watch both at the Metal Blade Records YouTube channel. So, I'm definitely a fan of this band, we'll likely be picking this one up. And also on March 8th will be the fifth studio album from American death metal band Skeletal Remains. This is Fragments of the Ageless, to be released by Century Media Records. Final variants will be Sunspot at 250 copies, which is exclusive to the band's web shop and includes a double-sided A2 poster. Opaque Green at 500 copies, which is also exclusive to the band's web store. And Lemon at 300 copies, which is exclusive to the Century Media web store. It's also going to be Transparent in an unspecified number of copies, as well as Magenta Transparent Light Blue at 300 copies. There are three music videos currently available for the tracks To Conquer, The Devout, Void of Despair, and Relentless Appetite. Find all three at the Century Media Records YouTube channel. So the available tracks are fast, blasty, and certainly up to past standards with this band. Definitely excited to hear the entire album, because it could be a really good one. Moving on to March 15th, we'll get the third studio album from American thrash metal band Atrophy. This is Asylum, to be released by Massacre Records. Vinyl variants will be Classic Black, 
red, clear, and white, each of which at 250 copies. Also a lyric video available for the track Punishment for All. It definitely sounds like atrophy, but maybe a bit more aggressive. At any rate, find the video at the Massacre Records YouTube channel. So I gotta say, this isn't bad in the way of that classic thrash sound. Given what I've heard, I'm interested enough to want to hear the whole album when it drops. Also on March 15th, look out for the second studio album from international blackened death metal band Ultimus. This is epic to be released by Season of Mist Records. Final variants will be Classic Black at 900 copies, Gold and Black Marbled at 700 copies, and Transparent Red and Black Marbled at 200 copies, the last of which a Season of Mist shop exclusive. These variants all come in a gatefold sleeve with gold foil and a four-page insert. There'll also be a picture disc of the album, which will come in a plastic sleeve. Anyways, music video is out for the track Miserere and a lyric video for Scorcher. First track is a bit thrashier and more melodic, where Scorcher brings back some of their blastier and growlier sound. Of the two, I'd say watch Scorcher first, but check out both at the Season of Mist YouTube channel. So I have the first album in Dig It, so at least a little curious about this one. We'll definitely check it out. And also on March 15th, expect the 10th studio album from black and death metal band Necrophobic. This is In the Twilight Gray to be released by Century Media Records. Final variants will be Classic Black at an unspecified number of copies, as well as Dark Green at 300 copies. There's a music video available for Storm Crow, as well as a lyric video for As Stars Collide. Of the two, I'm digging As Stars Collide a bit more for its driving mid-paced melodic quality, but watch both at the Century Media Records YouTube channel. So, you know the drill, not always a big black metal fan, but I often try to give some of these newer black metal releases a bit of a chance, and I'll be doing just that on release day. So far, so good, though. Moving on to March 22nd, we'll get the 22nd studio album from Canadian heavy metal band Thor. This is Ride of the Iron Horse to be released by Cleopatra Records. Vinyl variant will be Coke Bottle Green in an unspecified number of copies. Also, a lyric video is available for the title track. It has a kind of slow, bluesy feel to it with Thor's talk singing over it. You can find that at the Cleopatra Records YouTube channel. So yeah, he's a funny guy and all, but Thor's albums typically don't do it for me. But if you're a diehard fan, you might be picking this one up. And if you do, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Moving on to March 29th, look out for the 26th studio album from German heavy metal band Rage. This is After Lifelines to be released by Steam Hammer Records. Vinyl variants will be Classic Black in an unspecified number of copies. Yellow Red Marble to 200 copies and White and Black Marbled in an unspecified number of copies the last of which an SPV web store exclusive. There'll also be a box set for this title with a vinyl in orange-purple marble, as well as a two-CD digipack of the album, a live CD, a flag, a poster, a signature card, and a sticker. Also, a music video is available for the track Under a Black Crown. It's heavy and occasionally up-tempo with some power metal leanings as well. Check it out at the SPV Entertainment YouTube channel. So this is actually not bad. I mean, the chorus is a little saccharine for my taste, but the songwriting and musicianship are certainly there. So maybe I'll check it out. As for reissues on vinyl, on March 1st will be two Saxon albums repressed, both Forever Free and Unleash the Beast from Music on Vinyl. On March 8th will be a reissue of Graves as Rapture Comes in both gold and silver from the Circle Music. And available now are the following titles. We've got the first three At War albums, that is Ordered to Kill, Retaliatory Strike, and Infidel, available from High Roller Records. Also available are reissues of the first four Obsession albums, such being Scarred for Life, Methods of Madness, Carnival of Lies, and Order of Chaos, from High Roller Records. And also available are reissues of the first two Traveler albums, and in three vinyl variants, Black Hole, Infinity, and Nebula, from Gates of Hell Records. And also available are a number of revocation reissues, including Existence is Feudal, Chaos of Forms, the Terra to Genesis EP, and their self-titled album, all from Relapse Records. So some killer releases this month. Obviously, I'm getting the Judas Priest record, but also looking at the ones from Midnight, Skeletal Remains, and maybe Ultimus. But how about you? What are you getting? Definitely let me know. Also, if you're excited about a release that I hadn't mentioned here, let me know about that as well. Give me the band, the album, and the release date. Always great to hear from you. Also, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, but maybe also share it. You could also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And of course, if you're new to the channel, just to let you know, my name is Matt. 
This is the Accusation Network, where each and every week I do videos on metal vinyl collecting. I also cover the subjects of classic and modern metal in general. So check out all of my playlists. I do tons of shows in and around those subjects. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching and check back next month for even more metal vinyl releases.